Hello there. Welcome along to House of Games. It is Wednesday and you join us in the middle of a Champions Week. Everybody here has been a winner on House of Games before. One of them at the end of the week is going to walk away with a golden trophy. Who are our four former winners? They are Chizzy Akadolu, <laughs> Miles Gupp, Eddie Taylor and Mole Rajan. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Miles. Miles, Miles, Miles. Hello. You already have a trophy from uh, the regular House of Games, uh -huh. and you're well on your way to winning yourself a golden trophy. Two wins in a row. I've been very lucky, very lucky. But I would also say in yesterday's show, you got the same amount of points as everybody else put together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. <coughs> but when you put it like that, it does sound like an absolute gubbing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Chizzy, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall yes. we? See the points, because you're in second place at the moment. Well. Miles, obviously, in the top with his two wins. But uh, that's not too bad, is it? Just two points off. You've been second place two days in a row. Yeah, so if I carry on being second place, I'll be second place <laughs> at the end. I think that you will. Yeah. But how about we just think, like, think one positive. step up? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd love to beat Miles. Ellie. Ellie, Miles has won two prizes. OK, it's about time someone else won a prize. Should we take a look at today's prizes? Please, can we? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Just for that, no you can't. <laughs> Um, oh. You have got a golden <laughs> tennis racket, shower curtain, golden fondue set, golden carriage clock, how lovely. And there's also, oh, <laughs> it's the House of Games golden amulet. <gasps> wow. Is it real gold? It is real gold. Is it's it a real, a real amulet? amulet? It is a real amulet. Oh, wow. And what is an amulet? What is an amulet, yeah. Well, this one... It's like an omelette. <laughs> it is a bit like an omelette in that you can't make one without breaking eggs. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it, it confers eternal life on its wearer. Oh! So oh, I want price. that one. I want to win. I'd like Somebody, to turn that into an, a mullet, I think. I need the amulet. Uh, what would you go for there, uh, Ellie, do you think? Uh, when you win today? When I win, I'm going to go for portable property, which would be the amulet, please. You're going to go for the amulet? Why wouldn't you? Now, Amol, you are one of the most... You're a very senior member of the BBC uh, news staff, and you're in last place. Do you know, Richard, with your extreme uh, encyclopedic knowledge of sport... And views. You don't, want to peak, you don't want to peak too early. You don't want to peak too early. Yes. You want to have a kind of tournament rhythm. And I've yeah. been <laughs> woeful so far this week, yeah. and I want to get... The other thing I know about the sport as well is if you don't peak too early, make sure you also don't peak too late. Yes. Make sure at some, yes. point, make sure at some point you do actually It'll be good peak. to peak, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to peaking. We're all and looking I forward to seeing that. Right, welcome back, all four of you. Miles has won the first two days. Let's see if someone can knock him off his perch, shall we? That'd be a lot of fun to see. That'd yeah. be fun. Uh, no disrespect. <laughs> um, should we play round one? Let's yes, do it. Please. It is... King of the Jumble. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to give you two questions at a time. The answers are anagrams of each other. Oh, God. Okay? Terrible at anagrams. Yeah, but you just need to know the answers to the questions. Oh, OK. Yeah. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Fourth deadly sin in Dante's Divine Comedy. And composer of the orchestral suite, The Planets. That is Miles. Uh, Sloth Holst. Is the right answer. Well done. Oh, well done. Here's your next one. Fingers on buzzers, please. Joanna Lumley's character in Absolutely Fabulous. And a baked Cornish treat filled with meat and vegetables. Miles. Patsy Pasty. Patsy and Pasty are the right answers. Well done. What we're not doing well people who aren't Miles is like, when we know one <laughs> thing, we, we've, got to, we've got to just lead in and be like, we know it's Patsy, so almost just certainly go just go right, for it and then right. read the other thing. That's yeah. what Miles is doing and that's why yeah. he's absolutely okay. smashing us. Let's okay. just buzz quickly, <laughs> yeah? OK. All right, let's do that. Here's your next one. Queen of Arendelle in Frozen. And Kiss from a Rose singer. Yes, that is Jizzy. Elsa, Axel. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. So... Amal. Elsa, Seal. Is that right? Elsa and Seal oh, is the right no! answer. I think my glass is broken. That's the problem. Well, yes. it, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> um, here is your next question. What is this? A national emblem of Wales. Is he? Keel Leak. Let's take a look. Oh. Keel and Leak. Very nicely done. Well played. I've never heard of Keel. I've never heard of the Keel. The Keel, the Keel of a boat. Oh, how would you say you've never heard of it, but you got it? No, because I need a leak. <laughs> but how. Oh, okay. Well, there's yeah. not that many. I suppose. Yeah. Here is your next question. 
What are the answers here? They're both anagrams of each other. Japanese art of cultivating miniature trees. You can't bust till you see the oh, second yeah. one. And a northern region of the country whose southern region is Herzegovina. Yes, oh. that is Miles. Uh, bonsai, Bosnia. Correct, Bonsai and Bosnia. Why is he first? Why did he, he get there first? Well, he's, he's quicker fast. than you. That's, Someone's that, got to be quick. That explains a lot of this. Miles, guys. <laughs> that is absolutely turn against Miles, man. Yeah, I think it's well, his... here's your next one. Term for a supporter of the king against Parliament in the English Civil War. No idea. Alone, isolated, or single. Um, I feel one of those things right now. Oh, he said he Miles. Did she just press your buzzer for you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not answering that. No. Um, right. I, she, uh, I, it is, um... Well, I am. Uh, you made <laughs> <laughs> Forced him into it now. Uh, Cavalier and... I can't an, work it out. An anagram of that. Yeah. La Vissure. Is it Cavalier and La <laughs> It's not. That's unbelievable. Oh, oh God. Because it was the second one I knew. Cavalier must be wrong. I think I know the first one. <laughs> I think I know the first one. Yeah. Is I it not Cavalier? No. no. Is that wrong, then? Let's no. take a look at the answers. No, didn't under Turncoat. It was. Oh, oh, oh it's solitary. Oh, no, I was thinking round thinking round Yeah. yeah. Round and Cavaliers. Thinking... Final question. <laughs> Final question. <laughs> Final question in this round. Oh. What is this? Yeah. And land along the edge of a body of water. Yes, Miles. I, I mean, I hate to say this, but it's horse and shore. I think it is horse and shore. You're oh, quite guys, right. We've got to, we've this got to, is to guys, I've got to up our game, man. Let's take a look at the scores. Ellie, you have to get off the mark. Chizzy and Amol, you have one each. Miles, early leader with four points. Well played, Miles. It's not, it's not... Thank round you. Two very today. gracious. Very we'll gracious. Be, <laughs> round two today will be a pairs game, but what is that game going to be? It is Totes Emoji. It's a pair's game. The player in last place gets to choose their partner. Ellie, it is you again in last place. Hi. And now, every day you have played with Miles. Are you going to play with Miles again? <laughs> I am not oh. going to play with Miles today. The room is turning against you a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I will say. I know, but I don't, I don't know what I can do about it. There's not a lot you can do. Is there, a, to... is there a cafe near here? You've got to play. <laughs> I You've got to play just, your game. I could you? just do a bit of admin for me. Uh, Ellie, who would you like to play with? Um, I think everyone could do with just chilling out of their own seats, so I'll stick with them all. You stick with them all. Yeah. Uh, Miles and Chizzy, you are Great. a team as well. That's Ooh. nice to see. Oh, now, nice. this, here's how we play this game. Before the show, you each sent me a British TV drama, right? But you are only allowed to describe that British TV drama using emojis. OK, what you have to do now is guess the British TV drama that your partner sent to me, OK? Um, Miles, before the show, Chizzy sent me a British TV drama, and this is how she described it. But which TV drama is this? Hmm. What are you seeing up there, Miles? Well, a sort of down thing. Arrow, the letter A, a B, a flag, George hat. Um, down a B flat hat. Down a B flag hat, yeah. Down a B flag hat. Yeah. Maybe. I don't even know if it's five words, if it's one word. This is tough, man. Is it? I think, oh, I think, really I think Cheesy, I should have picked you. I think we're... Oh, cheers, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> God. You might prove yourself yet, but I, I see it. Do you use a lot of emojis when you do...? Yeah. Yeah. Do we uh, both get a point if he gets it right? Yeah. Um, Come on, Miles. Come on. I'm not that clever. He's, he's very good at getting points it. when he's by himself, isn't he? As soon as he has <laughs> to give a point to someone else, he's very, <laughs> he shuts down, doesn't he? Come on. Uh, uh, shall we time you out, Mark? Down a B, down a B, in, uh, well, I'm, uh, no. You want to give me a point? No, you're not going to give sorry. it, um, Ellie, what did you think it was? Downton Abbey. I mean, that's my assumption. Is it Downton Abbey, Jizzy? Yeah. It was. You, did, you literally said down a B. <laughs> down a B. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, down. presumably, the first three bits is the title, and then yeah, you're saying it's English and posh. And posh, yeah. Down a B, yeah. Right. Amol sent me this. Eddie, can you tell me which British TV drama this is? I'm confident about this. Sir. Are you? So it's a, like, strong arm mm. and a shield. Shield. Do you guys, do you think you know what it is? Do you have any clue? I'm absolutely as baffled as this. Yeah, 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 I haven't got this one. I mean, mate, you had ten. You could have used ten emojis. Yes. It was, it was tough. <laughs> it was a tough one. It was a tough one. It was a tough one. 
<laughs> it was a tough one. But when you see it, you'll see, you, I mean, you'll oh, okay. really see it. OK, has anyone at home got it? You got this one? One oh. bit of lateral thinking with either of them. And Whoa, it just that's into. enough talking now. Shield. Shield, armour, protection, strength, and... I can't think of... I, don't, I haven't got a clue. Um, shall we give up? Yeah. Uh, if it was, like, name other? a Welsh hymn, I'd have had it, but I can't... Anyone on the... Ooh. Any thoughts? Stop. Any thoughts at home? Foils War. <laughs> I mean, it might be. I doubt it. Uh, Amal, why don't you talk us through why you chose the uh, emojis and then tell us the name? And then leave. The show. Yeah. Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> well, um, it was this... I wanted... It's a one-word show, and it's a one-word, which is a sort of uh, portmanteau where it's got two bits, and yeah. the symbols relate to two bits. And for the first bit, I was very, very short of options because to represent the word I'm about to tell you, the best next thing was basically a yoga pose, which was confusing. You were so close, Ellie, when you said protection, strength, because it is oh. bodyguard. Bodyguard, wow. Sorry, that was a tricky one. I mean, it was it's... very hard. It was yeah. tough. No, no, it was yeah. really tough. Yeah, but shield, you said shield, protection. Anyway, you, you, I think it was a brilliant but There effort. is an emoticon of a guy holding up, like... Must uh, wait, so you know that would be better for the body. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, sister. <laughs> and there's an emoji of a guard. Just <laughs> yeah, there's an emoji, there's, of, there's an emoji of Richard Madden yeah. and Keely Hawes. Yeah, exactly. Could have used that. Well done if you got bodyguard at home. Uh, Chizzy Miles sent me this. He's trying to hint at a British TV drama, but which drama was it? Um, so I'm thinking detective in a sunny place with a ghost. So is somebody dead? Detective in a sunny place with a ghost. I am I mean... going to say, if it's not this, I'm being very surprised. Death in Paradise. Is it Death in Paradise, Miles? I'm afraid it isn't. Wow! Oh. That's a really well worked out, though. Yeah. Miles, I wonder if you could talk us through what it is. <laughs> it is, um... It's actually spooks, right? So there's a ghost there. Ghosts are also called spooks. Why didn't you just do four ghosts? At home, if more people said Death in Paradise and spooks, I'm going to give a point to Chizzy. You put your hands up if you said Death in Paradise. And put your hand up if you said spooks. Yeah, point to Chizzy. Well Yay. done, Chizzy. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm, I can appreciate that. It's a really dreadful clue now, in retrospect. Yeah, four ghosts would have been a beautiful clue for spooks. Yeah. Mm. No, no, you're absolutely right, Richard. You're absolutely right. Perhaps next series we'll swap chairs. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be lovely. A mole. To finish this round, uh, Ellie sent me this. It is a British TV drama, but what is it, please? Oh, now you're talking. I mean, I would have thought that wow. was spooks, but... Uh, <laughs> have you got that one at home? You're being very quiet. Well, the thing is... It's the thing about these things is they make so much sense in retrospect. Yes, yeah. When you I reverse think engineer speak it out loud. Lock, house, arrow, arrows, <laughs> magnifying glass, clue. So it's some sort of inspector thing. Is it something that ends in the word country? Is it something that ends in some idea of the, the nation? I'm putting the magnifying glass and the question mark together to say it's about sort of investigating something and the, the shady character investigating to do something to do with the country. But what's throwing me is the idea of a locked house going forward. <laughs> don't look, don't... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? when that locked house was going forward? <laughs> <laughs> it's Juliet Bravo. It's, uh, not, like, it's we... not line. It's not line of duty, is it? In any way, shape, or form? Is it line of duty? No, it's not. It's not. Has anybody got it at home? Chizzy and Miles. Safe house. Is it a safe house? No. Look at the first oh, two okay. emojis. Here we go. What so are lock they? house. Lock house. Big brother. Lock. Lock. Lock house. And what else is another word for a house? Flat. Home. Apartment. Home. Lock home. Lock home. Lock home. Lock home. Lock home. Sherlock. Oh, Sherlock. Uh, that's great. Home. Oh. It is a few. Clearly, in my brain, it was. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Lock. What are the arrows? They're like, oh, that's the name of the show. Here's a bit about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact we all knew it was a TV drama and we were all going lock home. Yeah. Lock home. No. Lock house. Lock house. Yeah, uh, that's the end of that round. How did he do on that at home? Um, let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Ellie took off the marker. Mole with one, Chizzy with two. Miles, you got four points. <laughs> three rounds to go. What's round three going to be today? It is. This is the backwards round. 
I'm going to read all of the questions backwards. Mm. You have to give me the answers backwards as well, please. Oh, gosh. So, okay. if it was your name, Miles, you would say Jup Miles. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lightning fingers is back. Buzzers on fingers. Prison Flying A on set is Cage Nicholas starring film which? Uh, Chizzy. Aircon. Is that right? Aircon. Well done. Ooh. Con Air becomes Aircon. Nicely played. Question next. Season the of champions, the determined to play his game NFL annual which? Chizzy. Uh, bowl Super. Is that right? Bowl Super. Well done. Super Bowl becomes Bowl Super. Question next. Night Bonfire on Burn traditionally is Plotter, which of Effigy the? Amol. Uh, Guy Fawkes. Incorrect, Guy I'm Fawkes. afraid. <laughs> Miles. I don't, I don't know. Why, why did that happen? Everyone was doing it. I don't even know. Uh, Miles. Fawkes Guy. Fawkes Guy is the answer. I don't know why that happens. I can only apologise. Uh, song this of title the is what? Ellie. Girl Barbie. Girl Barbie. Yeah! Thank you. Let's have a listen the right way round. Well played. Oh, holds up well, doesn't it, Barbie girl? Really does. Really good. Uh, question next. Tree family, their trace celebrities do series television. BBC, which in? Good luck, Chizzy. Ah. Oh. Think you? No. Oh, no. no. Miles. Are you think you do who? Are you think you do who? Answer correct, Miles. Oh. Oh. Well played. Uh, question final. Song this of title the is what? Chizzy. Oh, no, I've got it wrong. I was going to say champions. No. Correct, I'm afraid. Would you like to hear a bit more? Yes, please. Oh, I love it. Ellie. High. Mountain. Deep. River. Should we listen to it the right way around? Yeah, high mountain, deep river. River, deep mountain, high. And that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Two rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Uh, it's closing up a bit at the top there. Amol, you have one. Ellie, you have two. Chizzy, four. Miles, just a two-point lead now. Six points. Miles, up. Thank you very much. He's won two shows in a row. Is he going to win three shows in a row? Round four today is... The Rich List. I wonder if you would take out your tablets, please. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a category. And all you've got to do is write down a correct answer in that category, OK? Just has to be any correct answer in the category you're about to see, uh, and you'll get a point. Unless somebody else writes down the same right answer as you, OK? And we call it The Rich List because I also have a tablet and I'm also going to be writing down an answer. Uh, and if you get the same as me, you won't get a point, OK? Ah, oh, OK. Here is your first category. We're looking for the name of any US presidents with unique first names. So first names that no other president has. And that's as listed on the White House website. So write down a US president with a unique first name and try and avoid what everybody else is saying. How many can we write down? One. What do you think at home? Let's see if you can guess one as well, see if you can avoid what we're all saying here. Chizzy, what are you saying? So, I, I originally said J. Edgar Hoover. He, was he a president? No, good. Um, and I changed it to somebody who's very, obviously, the, the ob most obvious one, So I thought nobody else was going to go for the obvious one. Oh, clever. I hope. Barack. Barack. Interesting. Is that a correct answer? Have there been two Baracks? No, just the one. Well done. Chizzy. 
Miles, what have you gone for? I've gone for uh, Calvin Coolidge. Have oh, you gone old school? Oh, very clever. Gone old school. Is that the only Calvin? It is the only Calvin. Well done, Miles. Ellie, what have you gone for? I went for the obvious one too, because no one else would have done oh, it. Oh, ah. Unfortunately, you need every gains a point. And Mole, what have you gone for? Woodrow well, Wilson. Is that correct? It is. So a point to Miles and a mole, unless, unless I, know. I have written oh, the same as one yeah, of you, yeah, yeah. which I have. I genuinely thought, didn't think anyone would go do quite such a deep cut into the American Woodrow, presidents. Uh, a mole, I'm so sorry. You're joking. I've written Calvin Coolidge. Oh. Yes. <laughs> sorry, Miles. Yes. No That's worries. weird. Would Abraham yeah. have got a point? Yeah. Well done at home if you said any of these and avoided ours. Uh, Abraham, Donald. Benjamin, Chester, Donald, Dwight, Gerald. Grover, Harry, Herbert. There's the Hoover president, Herbert. Oh, yeah. Lyndon, Martin, Millard, oh, Richard, of Ronald. Of course, wow. Uh, Rutherford, Theodore, Thomas, Ulysses, Warren, Woodrow, and Zachary. Well done if you said one of those. Uh, write me down an answer for this, please. We are looking for countries that have hosted the FIFA World Cup but never won it. This is specifically men's World Cup? It is, yeah. What do you think at home? You got this one? Miles, what have you gone for? Gone for USA. Ah, USA, that must be right, surely. Is that a correct answer? It is, well done. Oh, you get yourself a point. Oh, for nice. now. Ellie, what are you saying? Total guess, Japan. Japan, says Ellie. Is that right? Very well played, nicely done. Amol. This is so annoying, because I was going to do USA, but I did Japan. Oh! Oh, oh please. I wrote Japan. Japan and South Korea, and I thought I need to have, but I, I can only have one, right? So. Yeah, correct. Chizzy, what are you saying? Korea. Korea, says Chizzy. Is that a correct answer? I'll give you that, South Korea. Yeah, so it's right. no flip, but, but, So that means Chizzy and Miles, you get a point, unless I've written down the same as one of you. Uh, South Africa is what I wrote down. So uh, you both get yourself a point. Well done. Uh, Let's take a look at the answers you could have given Chile, Mexico, Russia. Uh, Sweden and Switzerland were the ones we hadn't said there, so very well done if you said any of those. Final question in this round. Write me down an answer for this, please. UK representatives at the Eurovision Song Contest from 2000 to 2019 inclusive. Anyone who represented UK in the finals of the Eurovision Song Contest? Could we put Graham Norton? No. Oh. I've got quite an embarrassingly encyclopedic knowledge of uh, the UK's entries in Eurovision. Do you want to share them? Not really. It wouldn't help with it because you don't want to get the same answers. Oh, yeah, it? that's true. Have a little think at home. Ellie, who have you gone for? Now, I think this is right, or it was a dream I had. OK. Katie Price. Katie Price. Is that a correct answer? <laughs> it is not. She did the song for Europe where she tried to get to Eurovision. Oh. But she didn't make it to, uh, to Eurovision, I'm afraid. Nice try, Amol. I just know this is wrong, but I, I couldn't leave a blank screen. One Direction. One Direction, is that right? It's not, I'm afraid. Yeah. Shizzy? I think this is wrong. I think it's too late. Sonia, is that correct? 1993, Sonia. Ugh. Miles, would be the only person to get a point. I think for some, I think Katrina and the Waves. Is that correct? Sorry, oh, too early. Oh, 97, right. Katrina and the Waves. Uh, so it literally is game. moot what Look. I wrote down, which I wrote down the famously uh, got zero, no point, Gemini. Oh, oh, Gemini. That Gemini? was a tough, yeah. one. tough, tough, tough. That tough. was a tough one. Let's take a look at the answers you could have given. Some blasts from the past here. Well done at home if you said Andy Abraham, Blue, Blue. Holly Tyler, Daz Sampson, Electro Blue. Velvet, Engelbert Humperdinck, mm. Jade Ewan. James Fox, Javine, there's Gemini, Jessica Garlic, Joe and Jake, Josh, Lindsay D. A lot of J's, aren't there? Mm. Lucy Jones, Michael Rice, who was 2019, Molly, Nikki French, Scooch and Suri. Well done if you said any of those and avoided our answers here. Sorry if you said Gemini, I apologise. One round to go. Here are the scores. Amol and Ellie both have two. Chizzy and Miles, though, still in contention. Five and seven. Well played, Chizzy and Miles. Uh, OK, so we play our final round. It is... Answer smash. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... Singers. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue underneath. Smash them together. Here's your first one. 
What term denotes gun dog breeds that were trained to crouch to indicate the presence of game? Ellie. Alanis Morissetta. Is it Alanis oh, Morissetta? Well. well played, Alanis yeah, Morissetta. Yeah, yeah. Setter. Right. Comes Alanis Morissetta. Next picture. Which football team in Greater Manchester is nicknamed the Trotters? That is Miles. Michael Bolton Wanderers. Is it Michael Bolton Wanderers? Very good. It certainly is. Well done. Michael Bolton and Bolton Wanderers. Quite satisfying, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely uh, feeling. Next singer. Which 1994 film stars Macaulay Culkin as the son of a wealthy businessman? Yes, Miles. Lionel Richie Rich. Is it Lionel Richie Rich? Oh, my God. Certainly yeah. is. Lionel Richie Richie Rich. Next category. Roman numerals. Those will be the pictures. Caracas is the capital of which South American country? Yes, I'm all. 11, ben, is 11 Venezuela. 11 Venezuela. Oh, I'll just about give you that, I'm all. Well done. <laughs> 11 Venezuela. <laughs> next Roman numeral and next clue. Named after a racket sport, what injury is caused by repetitive use of tendons in the arm? I'm all. 100 and tennis arm. Oh, oh my ah, sorry, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, a hun a hundred and tennis elbow. A hundred and tennis elbow is the right answer. One hundred and ten and tennis elbow. One hundred and tennis elbow. Amal, you lose a point to Miles. You I gain was a point. Say tendonitis. That's not named after a racket sport. Oh. Here's your next one. Which Richard Curtis film stars Andy McDowell as Carrie and Kristen Scott Thomas as Fiona? Yes, that is Miles. 24 weddings and a funeral. Is that the right answer? 24 weddings and a funeral. 24 and 4 weddings and a funeral. Well played, Miles. Let me win. Next category. Oh. <laughs> there are no more categories. Oh. There are no more worlds left to conquer for Miles Jupp. Shall we take a little look at the score? Miles won on Monday. Miles won <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Miles wins on Wednesday. 11 points. And today... If you add everyone's score together, you beat them all. Amol with two, Eddie with three, Chizzy came second again. Keep coming second. Uh, Miles, you have 11. Miles, you've got yourself a prize to choose. Which of these would you like? <laughs> I mean, I mean there is an amulet whatever. which which gives the bearer eternal life, which is quite handy. But there's a golden fondue set. I think maybe the tennis racket would be quite useful. So you're going to turn up at your local park with a golden tennis racket. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah. Miles Jupp takes home a House of Games golden tennis racket. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Miles Jupp. <laughs> Shall we take a little look at the weekly leaderboard? Looking good for Miles. Miles has 12. Wow. Chizzy, only three points behind on nine. Ellie with six. Amol with five. Miles, no one's ever won five in a row. OK, you got three in a row, which is pretty good going. But, Eddie, we had this when you were on with Steve Pemberton. He went through four in a row. Yeah. And then you destroyed him on day five. And then five. I said, I'm not actually left-handed, and then <laughs> I went right exactly in. Exactly that, <laughs> exactly that. Uh, Mars, congratulations. Wonderful week so far. Very well played. Thank Thanks you. to all of you for being yeah. here today. I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. <laughs>